What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews and in this review we have a little storage cabinet and this storage cabinet is like a style of a lock. I think it's pretty cool and I wanted to test one out. If one works out, I might get like a, a few more to like set up like the kids rooms or something like that. Or even the uh, garage. I would like to have like a locker style in the garage make it look cool or make it look like somebody worked in the garage. Something different. So let's just hope everything comes in good shape and not damage. I've been getting products lately that has been damaged <laughs> and with those products you'll get a three or four star because and it's already got scratch on this was peeling off let me show y'all real quick i knew it i knew it i don't know what's going on you can see right there there is a scratch right there great oh well let's put it together let's see how much i like it you know i might not even see it if i have have them together so we'll see okay you guys so I am going to let that little scrap slide. All right, everything is good. Nice and gentle, you guys, nice and gentle. All right, and here we go is the front locker right here. All right, and it's a combination style. So that's nice and hopefully they tell us the combination. <laughs> we'll figure the combination thing out. I actually like this color, you guys. I like somebody left their hand grease on Can it come off? Okay, I think it could come off. It looked like oil or something on there. Maybe probably when they manufactured it. They gave us gloves. It's a pretty big cabinet. I didn't think it would be this big. I thought it would be like a little bit, you know, like a little small cube. All right, and this looks not self-explanatory, but it looks pretty easy from what I see on here. So we're gonna save that. All right, everyone. So I have the locker on the table and we are going to get into the setup. Now, we have our parts list right here and we're gonna flip the page and from what it looks like this thing is going to be very simple to put together they did give us a screwdriver which is nice i actually like this screwdriver give us two gloves i guess if you're doing this professionally you may want to put two gloves on you know you don't want to get no grease on nobody's locker so we got our gloves on just to feel good we have a key we'll get into that later all right now we have very small screws these weird looking screws but right now everything is with a small screw and with the gloves you cannot open this okay maybe you can open it all right so we open the bag we got our screws out what they are asking as far as the instructions is not it's not like the instructions say part one or you know step one step two it just going in order on telling you what to do so i'm assuming it's up down and then go to the next page up down. So we are going to do D, C, and then it says G. So these are not labeled. So you will definitely have to guess which one is what. So that's a big panel. I'm assuming it's this one. I guess that's a mistake on their part, you guys. It's shit. Ooh. Oops. Well, it didn't scratch, so that's a good thing. All right, so we know this is the front. This do not get installed yet. So we have to figure out what is D. Oh, come on. Y'all could at least put a sticker on this thing, you guys. Come on, company. Okay. So trying to look at the picture just to see if I get an understanding. So it looked like this may be D and C is the big ones because from what I see on the picture, it has three little holes on here and they have it on the picture on D. They have one, two, and then three holes on it. So that's what I'm going with right now, you guys. All right. That's what I'm going with right now. So I'm assuming this will be D. And then they have C. So D and C should be the same thing. So let's see. All right, so this is the same piece right here. Now G is a bracket. It'd be easy to look on the parts list as well. Let's go on the parts list. Uh, well, we know A is the front. B is a back panel. C and D is side panels. Still don't explain which one is what. I'm assuming one of these is gonna be the pack, the c and d so two of these are going to be the side panel you guys we are going to go with that and then once i get through with this then we'll know this right here is g 
we know this is G. So how do y'all want us to hook this up? The three holes go on the top. So the three holes go on the top and they said hook this up like, but this don't have no pinhole on the side. All right, so let's say hook this up like this, right? Oh, I see now, I see. So they have the hole, they have the bracket and the hole right here on this side. So close up. All right, you guys, so you see it right there. All right, there's not one on this side, but it's one on this side. So you have to hook your G up to this one right here. So we figured out what our side panels are. All right, so with that being said, we are gonna go ahead and put this in like so. And it's kind of hard to get into this slot. Oh, they welded it together. That's messed up. They didn't cut it all the way. Maybe it's not supposed to be. Oh, it's not. It goes right there, right there through the gap. Okay, so it fits right. Y'all see this gap right here? It's supposed to go right through that gap. So it lands right on the gap or right in between the gap. And then you screw it up. All right. So this slot is not technically supposed to go right in between there. This whole piece is supposed to go right between this slot inside. All right, you guys, the gloves are not gonna work for me. <laughs> I don't like these like mover gloves. It's always slippery. These are like the cheapest gloves to get in life. And this part is bent here too as well, but you could try to bend it back in shape. All right, so the screw goes right here. All right, so it's not trying to go in straight. Why does it keep turning? Do I need my drill gun, you guys? Cause I'm not gonna stress out with a screwdriver. I'm gonna get my drill gun, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and preset this other screw here. All right, that fits right inside that gap. Instructions is, is not really detailed on, oh, it would have been better if they put it like a sticker on here so you can identify what is what. In our situation, you have to look at pictures. It's better for me to install it like this. And another thing to note, screws are not magnetic. Just do the best you can. And you're not trying to go in. Oh, Lord. Come on. All right, so these holes is really not lining up. This, they have an issue on this. Uh-huh, they have an issue. It's not properly drilled in the right spot. Should I return this thing? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't feel like returning this. I actually want this locker. I gotta drill a hole. Oh, you guys. I'm gonna have to give it a four star. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give this a four. It might, it might have to shoot down to three stars. They didn't put the hole there. And the hole on the other side is crooked. And I'm wasting time. Let me go ahead, get my bit kit and drill a hole. All right, had to get my bits. And I don't have the proper bits for it. You shouldn't have to like go the extra mile when it comes to this, but I don't feel like returning this. And you're gonna get metal everywhere, you guys. Woo! That went through. And we have our hole. All right, now we are on the right path. All right, that hole is done. Now we gotta go to B. What is B? B is insert the back panel. Now this is flat, so I'm assuming that this is the back panel. Let's see. I uh, wish the instructions was a little bit better, you guys. I think this is the back panel. Okay, yep, this is the back. You could tell this is B because it has like, like fold right here with like two screws or well, not two screws but it's like two little loops right here and it's like a gap in the middle so that is b and they said b goes in the back but they have one picture that looked like it's going in the middle and then one picture saying that it's in the back so maybe they saying you have to put it okay i think i'm starting to understand all right so it has the gaps right there so it can sit on top of that it has a gap right here so it can sit right on top of that and it's in the middle all right now we have to screw in from the inside 
screw, screw in from the inside, 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 inside. With four screws, two on each side on the top area. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. Which these daggone screws is magnetic. Probably can't see this, but they got two screws on the top. Just start it in by hand. I hope that these screw holes are good and in the right spot because I am not going to pre-drill after this. If something is wrong after this, I will return it, you guys. I don't want to return it, but if something is wrong after all this I did, I'm definitely sending it back. Okay. Now, we're going to the next step, which is, it looks like we have to install the bottom which is E, and we have to figure out what that is. You guys, I don't know what the heck is going on here. I don't know what's going on. Okay, so, all right, so here's the difference between E and F right here. To be honest with y'all, it don't say it on the instructions. All right, you guys, I figured it out. All right, so E is this one right here. And how can you tell it is this one? Because of the holes that's on the side of it. Woo, that took a long time. Okay. All right, you guys. So a way you could do this is just like this. He is the one with holes on the side. And it took forever to figure that out. But you can just easily just slide that in. So you could put that on like that. Match it up. And then put your screws right there on the side. Screw, 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 screw. And that will be it. Oh, you better not, you better have a hole right here. All right, that's good. I would flip it, but if I flip it, basically y'all won't be able to see it. I'm not left-handed, so it's kind of hard for me to put the left one on, so I have to flip. Sorry, you guys, I'm right-handed. It's even harder to find the hole. Oh my God, definitely not an easy install. Ouch. All right, let's see where we're going. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Getting on my nerves. You're getting on my nerves. Can't believe it's taking all day to install this. This is probably the, one of the hardest installs on this channel. I have to put it back the other way. All right, you guys. Woo! We are finished with the bottom panel. I can't believe this is taking me almost an hour to build. This thing should only literally, this thing should only take me like 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Y'all know my channel. I do DIY. We build the deck for goodness sake. We build a whole deck. Well, not build a whole deck, but we kind of, we, well, well, at least we replace the steps. But anyways, we basically, this is a true DIY channel, a product review channel. And I can honestly say that this product is the only one that really gave me a real headache. <laughs> like, why am I stressing on this product? Now, I'm going to tell you all this. Uh, two of my screws here are not aligned well, okay? Like whoever drilled the holes or however they manufacture this thing, they are not drilling the holes properly, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and give you that information. Now, I am not a salesman, you guys. No, not by any means. Um, but I am a product reviewer. With that being said, I have to tell y'all the truth. I have to be honest with y'all. I have to let y'all know, maybe y'all locker may come in different or maybe y'all locker is different, but my hole in my screws are not lining up properly. So two of these screws, well, one screw is not in all the way. Another one is not in all the way. Ow, pinch myself. Another one is not in all the way and it's still staying up. So if I lift it up, it's still good. All right. Now that's depending on how you have this. You might have it on the floor or you might stack them. You know, you might want to design your kid's room. Uh, that's the kind of idea that I saw that when I saw in the picture, all of this, blah, blah, blah. Let me finish this. All I'm basically is trying to say is that I am not going to just try to say, oh, everything is perfect. No, uh, uh, you guys, as a matter of fact, this thing might get a three to four stars for me just for the, it might even cut down to three stars, you guys. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. So if the company is mad at me, oops, I told people the truth. All right. This is the last one. I know what this one is. Now they saying turn the cabinet 
up and down that one all right so f all right you guys this cabinet is giving me a headache all right how do you install this thing are you supposed to nope supposed to be like this but the two holes is right here in the front place the cabinet upright install the bottom shelf f okay so if that was the top then was that the bottom my finger my finger hurts <laughs> uh, whew, that's sharp all right you guys i kind of poked my finger with this little screw try to pick it up from the ground and uh, i picked it up wrong all right so i ran out of two camera batteries luckily i got a new sd card and it has a lot of memory on it this thing is taking forever i'm getting a headache and it's not supposed to be this hard to install. All right, you guys. So I am. I tried to install this in here. It don't work. Okay, it don't work. Can I put this under here? It don't work like that. It's like the geometry of this thing is all the way off. All right. So we got the two lips here, but it's not telling us. I'm getting frustrated. Y'all have never seen me frustrated before. And this is the first product. What am I doing wrong, you guys? What am I doing wrong with this thing? My OCD is kicking in. I'm getting frustrated. Place the cabinet upright. So E is on the top. All right, so we're upright already. It says install the bottom shelf F and screw on the back panel B. You guys, <laughs> I tried not to take this back, but this thing might go back. Uh, like, no so do I have to loosen stuff up to put this on? All right, you guys, I quit. I quit. <laughs> Y'all witnessing me quit a product on this channel. I quit because it's not fitting inside of this daggone lock. <sighs> All right, so I'm gonna do what y'all doing. I'm gonna look up a video to see if anybody else have the same problem. Uh, you guys, I looked at their description on Amazon. If you go on Amazon, you go on their photos. If you go and slide, they actually installed this first in which this in the instructions gets installed last right here. So they installing this last and this one first because F is supposed to be the bottom. That's my understanding to what this is. I'm looking at people reviews. Some people are very upset. He gave it four stars, but he said, follow the video in the description. This one person with one star is just like me, frustrated. frustrated. <laughs> All right, you guys, I took everything out. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Um, I'm getting frustrated. <laughs> I can't even tell y'all how frustrated I'm getting. My family even asking me, is everything okay? I am yelling down here, I am screaming, I am cursing, I'm doing all of the nine yards. So I took the top, the top off, okay? I took the top off, or the one they told us to take off. <laughs> Okay. 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 All right, you guys, I just want to say, unfortunately, I cannot install this thing. It's all geometry at this point. The panel is too big. So even if I put it on the inside, right? You see, it hits the size. I, it's nothing I can do. There is nothing I can do. And why? Because it's not cut right at the top. If it was cut right here and cut right here, I'm not doing no more modifications, you guys. I am not doing no drill bits, no more drill bits, no more. Uh, I'm not going to bring my metal saw cutter down here. I am not doing no modifications. This thing costs enough to where it's supposed to come here and just do what it's supposed to do. Um, I try to give it a chance. It's not working. It's not working, you guys. And you know I don't like giving up. I don't like giving up on this channel. But if something 
is mathematically not right, then it, it can't be done. I'm not gonna purchase it again, try it again, waste another two hours of my life. You guys, it took me over two hours to build this. It's, it's, it's five o'clock now and I started at like three. I started at three. It's five o'clock right now, p.m. I started at 3 p.m. It's five o'clock. So with that being said, the idea I had for this was to like uh, for my kids room to make like stack lockers, something cool um, just to get them designed in their room. So when they do their game and streaming, their background look good. Um, but if I would buy like six of these things, so six times two, and that's how many hours I will waste on my life trying to put this thing together. <laughs> Something that's supposed to take me 30 minutes. And I will stand in the Kohl's line or the UPS store line for another three hours to do a return. You guys, returns are a headache. Have y'all ever stand in the Kohl's line and somebody have like, I don't know, 10 items to return and let's say three of those items they forgot to put the return in and i'm going on a rant but sorry so anyways you guys that will be it with this review i apologize that i couldn't put it together and hopefully the company watches this video uh so here are the main things the parts are not labeled the parts are not labeled two the uh screw holes are not aligned very well uh, and on more than two of them, it's like five of them that the screw holes are not aligned for the screw to go in. So that was three. And, uh, no, that was two. And the uh, third one is the bottom panel do not fit this locker. I don't know why. Maybe they got it cut wrong. I don't know. And that's just that part. You guys, we still have the locker door to put in. So who knows after that? If you had a better chance with this, put it in the comment section. That will be it, you guys. All right. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next product review.